You're not sure the will to he be dead. But here has been Carbaccio, here has been Valtore, here were others too, all gaping here for legacies. But I, taking advantage of him calling you, Signor Corvino, <laughs> took paper, pen and ink, and there I asked him <coughs> who he would have his heir. Corvino! Who should be executor? Corvino! And sent all of us home, <laughs> not to greet them, but to cry in course. <laughs> Dearest Mosca, <laughs> does he not perceive us? <laughs> no more than a blind happer. He knows no man. Has he children? Bastards. <laughs> Some dozen or more he sired from beggars, gypsies, Jews, and black moors when he was drunk. <laughs> no, you're not that sir. Tis a well known favour. Uh, that's well. <laughs> Are sure he does not hear us? Sure, sir. Why well, look you? Believe your own sense. Oh, the pox approaches. I see your diseases. <laughs> near, draw near, sir. Would you would close those fifty eyes of yours, that blow with slime like two frog pits? <laughs> Nay, <Nee>, help, sir. <laughs> like an old swamp wall in which the rains ran down in streaks. Oh, excellent, sir. Speak out. Your nose is like a common sewer still running. <laughs> oh, that is good, huh? Hey, and what his mouth? A very draught. Stop it up. Faith. I could stifle him with a pillow. I pray you use no violence. No, sir, why? Why should you be thus honourable, pray you, sir? <laughs> Nay, at your discretion. Well, well, sir, be gone. But I will not trouble him now to take my pearl. <laughs> <laughs> now your diamonds are. What is such a needless care as that afflicts you? Is not all here yours? Grateful Mosca, thou shalt share in all my fortunes. <laughs> Excepting one. <laughs> What's that? Your gallant... Beauteous wife, sir. <laughs> My divine master, thou hast today outshone thyself. <laughs> but why so speak of Corvino's wife? Has she so rare a face? Oh, sir, the wonder, the blazing star of Italy, a beauty ripe for harvest, with skin whiter than a swan all over. Ah, soft lips would tempt you to an eternity of kisses. Lovely as your gold, and bright as your gold. Why had I not known this before? Oh, sir, only yesterday I discovered it. How might I see her? No, it is not possible. She's kept as secure as is your gold. Never goes outside, never takes air, uh, but at a window. I must see her. So, there is a guard of spies, ten take around her. <coughs> I will see her, but at her window. <coughs> In some disguise, then, sir. Let you go as a mountebank doctor, a quack purveyor of remedies. Tis true, my clever Mosca. We shall do it. <laughs> <laughs> For cramps, convulsions, paralysis, epilepsies, ill vapors of the spleen, stopping of the liver, parting of the stone, and cures, melancholia, hypochondria, being taken and applied according to my printed receipt. For this is the physician, this the medicine, this counsels, this cures, this provides the direction, this works the effect. It will cost you but eight crowns. Expect no more. I but wish a pledge of your love to carry something from amongst you. There for now, toss your handkerchiefs cheerfully and be announced that the first heroic spirit that deigns to grace me with their handkerchief, I will give them a little remembrance of something. Now, who will have? Will you be that heroic spark, Paul? Oh. See? 
The window has prevented you. <laughs> Lady, I kiss your bounty, and for this timely grace you have done your mountebank, I will return to you over and above my oil. Here is a powder conceived in this paper, of which I will only tell you, tis the powder that made Venus a goddess, kept her perpetually young, cleared her wrinkles. Spite of the devil am I shame. Come down, big fellow, come down. What, no house but mine to make your scene? Is my wife your maid in your fast? No window in the whole town square here to make your properties but mine? But mine? I am wounded. Where, sir? Not without, within. <laughs> Those blows were nothing I could bear them ever. But angry Cupid, bolting from her eyes, had shot himself into me like a flame. Oh, sir, would you had never seen her? Nay, would thou have never mentioned her to me? Sir, tis true. I do confess oh, I was unfortunate, and you were lucky. But I am bound by conscience, no less than duty, to effect my best to your release of torment. And I will, sir. My dear Mosca, shall I hope? Sir, I will strive to bring success to your desires. No, shall we part? And as I prosper, so applaud my art. <laughs> 